My friends keep saying, which vaccine should I choose? What are the real differences between the two vaccines? Essentially, there's not much difference. Efficacy of both vaccines is about the same. It's about 95%. The Pfizer vaccine is two doses with 21 days apart. The Moderna vaccine also requires two doses and 28 days apart. The main difference is that the dose of the two vaccines are different. So Pfizer is 30 micrograms, uh, Moderna is 100 micrograms. So I took the Moderna vaccine. Does that mean that it is three times more potent than the Pfizer vaccine? No, yeah, it does not. The difference in the dose is a very practical issue because they had to make a guesswork as to where the sweet spot um, for the dose of the vaccine is going to be. Pfizer narrowed it down to 30, Moderna narrowed it down to uh, 100. I think in reality, it's somewhere in between. So what explains the gap between uh, Pfizer and Moderna, the 21 days and the 28 days, and does it matter? It doesn't matter. By and large, the rule of thumb is that about a month apart is about right. If you stretch it out a bit more, it actually could be even better because you're giving the immune system time to learn. The problem though is that people tend to forget to come back if you stretch it out. What about side effects then? Does it mean that if it's a higher dosage, you are going to get more side effects? It does look that way, uh, at least in the phase 3 trial data where especially on a second dose the reaction to the side effects like tiredness the rate of fever and all that appears to be more common in the Moderna vaccine compared to the Pfizer vaccine but we cannot be sure that it's entirely due to dose what causes side effects to begin with it's our immune response to the vaccine the side effects is in some way a, a good sign that your immune system is reacting to the vaccine, right? Um, but for those who did not experience any side effects, the data is showing that you are still getting a good immune response. Why are we still seeing people who get infected after they have been vaccinated? Now, what we're seeing are actually mutants. Mutants which are quite different from the original strand. In fact, it's like the syllabus that has been changed. So now, when I use the score 95 marks with this standard syllabus exams, I do worse off because I, it's a totally different mutant, it's a totally different syllabus. But even if we went back to the original strain, the efficacy was only 95%, which means while the 100 people there are, five of them will still end up with an illness, but we understand that to be mild. What I'm hearing a lot is people around me saying that, you see, you see, you get vaccinated, you still can get infected. So what is the point of getting vaccinated? Vaccination changes a severe disease to a mild disease and from mild disease to a asymptomatic disease. So our responsibility is not just about not falling sick with COVID-19, but it's also preventing the severe forms which require oxygen or requires intensive care because eventually you don't want to destroy your hospital and your healthcare system. How long will my protection last? Overall, about 30% of us will have very long-lasting antibodies that will cope. And the other 70% won't have enough antibodies. you will fall with time or they never mount adequately. And in those cases, all the more, you need to remind the immune system by going for a booster vaccine. When you say the 30% whose immunity or protection may last for a long time, what kind of time frame are we looking at? We're talking about years at the least. Eventually, I suspect we will all have to do a blood test for antibody levels. When the antibody levels fall to a certain low level, we probably have to go for vaccination again. How exactly do booster shots work? Booster shots work by jolting the memory of the immune system. Antibody levels fall, but when you do a booster shot, you shoot the levels very, very high. In fact, Superman high. When that happens, you'll be able to fight the virus, even if it was a mutant. Are the booster shots interchangeable? Meaning if I start off with Moderna, I can take a Pfizer booster. If you think about the science of vaccinology, you should be fine because you are stimulating the same protein again, the same spike protein. One good possible outcome is this. We may be able to find good matches of different vaccines that will even exceed what we'll be getting all along 
with the traditional two doses of the same vaccine. Prof, I think many of us are looking forward to the past, <laughs> oh, whereby we need not have uh, social distancing, we can meet as many friends as we want, and we don't have to wear masks. Is that likely to happen? That's like looking into the crystal ball. So we aren't really very sure. But um, personally, I don't see this happening for the next three to four years at least. To achieve 80% vaccination of the population, um, the countries around us will still not be anywhere near that. So that means travel will still be limited for the large part. Exercising the day before my jab will boost my immunity and the efficacy of the vaccine. True or false? False. Mm. The main reason is because uh, some people, when they do too much exercise, the following day, they may experience some uh, discomfort from the, the strenuous exercise, and that actually makes the immune system even worse than uh, usual. I personally experienced quite a bit of soreness on my arm. Mm -hmm. I was told that if I moved my arm a lot, it actually helps true or false. That is actually true. Keeping the arm mobile helps to improve the uh, blood circulation of the arm and prevents the joints from stiffening. This one is my mom's favourite piece of advice. Mm. Drink plenty of water after the injection. It will help. True or false? It is true and ah. false. Okay, apologies yeah. to mummy. Yeah. Why? We do advise a light snack and adequate hydration before the vaccine and adequate hydration after the vaccine. But sometimes overhydration may cause swelling, may cause a bloatedness. Uh, to some people who are not so mobile, it can even cause water retention. So uh, we advise to just eat and drink as what uh, one would normally do, not necessarily have to do uh, in excess. Alcohol can affect my immune response. This question is a little bit complicated to answer. Chronic alcoholism definitely will affect one's uh, immune system and it will dampen a person's immunity. But having a glass or two alcohol uh, wouldn't affect a person's immunity or uh, the vaccine's efficacy. Will popping paracetamol before the jab help? No, it wouldn't. The reason being is because we don't recommend taking medication without symptoms. For those who really want to maximise the efficacy of the vaccine, is there anything we can do? Yeah, regular exercise and balanced healthy diet and most importantly is adequate sleep. That would be the best advice to anyone to boost the efficacy of the vaccine. Even just one night of good sleep the day before can really help to boost one's immunity. 